The patient today asked about Abilify or Aripiprazole, a second generation neuroleptic medication. Abilify is a medication that blocks dopamine 2 receptors, but it also has activity on other receptors as well, including several um, serotonergic receptors. Um, that's what makes it fall in the second generation uh, class of neuroleptics. Abilify is used for several different conditions. It's used in psychotic illnesses like schizophrenia, typically at higher doses like 15 plus milligrams. It's used in bipolar disorder, typically at a little bit lower doses, like 10 to 15 milligrams or so. And it's used in depression, so illnesses like major depressive disorder, typically added to a primary SSRI or SNRI of their antidepressant at a very low dose, like two milligrams or five milligrams. This medication can be effective for, um, uh, as mentioned, for several different types of illnesses um, and in, in a lot of different individuals. With that being said, it doesn't work for everyone, and so that's one of the reasons why you want to be under the care of a mental health professional. It also certainly has side effects, and so just like all second-generation neuroleptics, it can affect someone's glucose levels, and so your provider will want to check labs and monitor your glucose level and your A1C, a measure of the last three months, basically averaged, of your glucose level to make sure that you're not at risk for diabetes. They'll likely want to check a lipid panel to take a look at your triglycerides, a measure of fat cells in your blood, and your LDL cholesterol and other um, uh, factors there, things to look at in your lipid panel. And they'll also likely want to look at your CBC to make sure that the medication isn't causing a drop in white blood cell counts, because uh, that can, uh, while well, that may be rare, it certainly could be a serious potential side effect. There are other potential side effects with this medication, including the potential for weight gain, although it seems to cause a little bit less weight gain than some of the other um, second generation neuroleptics that are out there. Uh, there's also a warning for increased compulsive behaviors like um, uh, like substance use or gambling or other kind of uh, compulsive behaviors. And so if there are changes in behaviors, um, you want to make sure that you talk to your provider directly about them and your provider wants to make sure they discuss that with you uh, before starting the medication. Um, in general, it's pretty well tolerated. Some individuals get some significant um, akathisia with this medication or um, where they feel pretty kind of jittery or restless or feel like they're kind of crawling out of their skin a little bit when they first start it. Um, that can certainly happen, but it doesn't happen with everyone. And again, there are other side effects that are possible too. So um, it's important that if you believe that this video pertains to you in any way, or you want to hear more about this medication, please talk directly with a mental health provider um, because um, all medications have side effects, but um, if someone is struggling, it, it, you really want to make sure you talk to a professional and consider treating um, as mood disorders, anxiety disorders, etc. are treatable medical illnesses.